Hey guys, it's me, Ichigo Kurosaki. If you all read the title, that's right. We're going to be doing a review on Count Doku's lightsaber from the Black Series. Now, um, this is my first Black Series lightsaber. Um, I've got, I've had at least three or four Ultra Sabers, but I've never gotten any from Black Series, only because I haven't heard too many good things about Black Series. Please no one get offended about that. I'm not saying Black Series is bad, because like I said, I've never had one before now. And this is my first one, and I already love it. Um, so yeah, here's the handle right there. Um, I love Count Dooku's lightsaber. Uh, I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or not, but I personally feel like Count Dooku has the best lightsaber design. It's between him, Kylo Ren, and Mace Windu for me. For best lightsaber designs, you know, but yeah, uh, this is what it looks like right here. It's pretty long. Uh, I'm gonna turn off my light just for one second. No, it's not completely dark in here. There we go. Now, this is not for dueling with. Because uh, I'm just going to turn it off and turn it back on quickly. You see the way it is? There is lights throughout the whole lightsaber. So uh, you would damage this if you tried to duel people with it. So it's more for decoration than anything. But it does um, have the sound effect. Uh, if you hit it with your hand, it'll make the clash sound, but yeah. other than that, uh, it's not, it is not for dueling, so I wouldn't do that. Yeah, let's turn the light back on for a second. There we go. This thing is beautiful. You know, when I heard that Hasbro made the company uh, Black Series, you know, I was kind of like, 50 50 about it. I'm not saying Hasbro is a bad company, but as you know, I know Hasbro for toys, not really for replicas. But this right here, amazing. And this thing is pretty good. Um, coming from Ultra Sabres to this, I was expecting the sound to be a whole lot louder. Because anybody who's had Ultra Sabres knows those things can get pretty freaking loud. So I was expecting that. Now, um, as you guys can see, it is uh, daytime right now, but I'm going to stop my camera and we're going to go to nighttime. So, uh... Alright guys, it's a little darker out here. Uh, I will be showing you guys what it looks like a completely when it gets like pitch black outside. But for now, I just wanted to show you that, but you can still see the saber a little bit. There you go. See, it just suns out a little bit and I can still see it. I know I'm not fighting with this the right way, by the way. Uh, sorry if you guys hear that in the background, the dog and the power washer. I know a lot of people see Count Dooku's shape and they're like, how the heck would you fight with this? If you guys have watched Star Wars, I played the games. If you notice, Count Dooku, he kind of fights with it kind of like this. Instead of like, you know, he doesn't really do that too much. It's more like, like jabbing. Kind of, but yeah. Yeah, so we're going to wait a little bit for the sun to go down. Okay, now it's way much darker out here. Are you guys ready? And there we go. See, you can see the up and down effect. I don't know if you guys can hear it moving on the camera or not. Still got the sound effects. So I was telling you how this is non-doable, doable, sorry. And you guys were prob probably thinking, so how does it make the clash sound? I figured out something. Uh, either if you hit it with your hand, or if you swing it hard enough, I just turned it off by accident. Um, <laughs> if you swing it hard enough, it will also make the clash sound. Like I said, so uh, yeah. That's pretty cool.
I just, dang, I just hit myself in the side like that. You know I'm dead. This is a real lightsaber. Yeah. This thing is bright though. I like it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's my lightsaber. Um, before I end the video, now I'm just gonna talk about stuff that I personally didn't really care for. When it comes to lightsaber, there's literally only two complaints I have when it comes to this lightsaber and nothing more. Now, my two complaints have to do with the size of the handle. Uh, well, one of them, not, that's not like both of my complaints. Uh, uh, my only complaint really right now is the handle. Um, the handle looks beautiful. I'm not saying it has nothing to do with the way it looks. If you all look at Count Dooku's lightsaber in, in the star and the actual show, it is not this wide. Look how wide that is. This is too wide. I, it's too it's too big. You know. So that's literally that's one of my complaints. And the other thing is this thing is heavy. Like, looking at it, I guess, well, I mean, it's a big old metal handle, so of course it's going to be heavy. But uh, even my Ultra Saber, um, the Ultra Sabers that I had were not as heavy as this lightsaber. This is actually heavy, you know. But, yeah, they're not major complaints. Other than that, um, I give this lightsaber a solid um, 8 out of 10. Now, I know some people are probably going to be like, what? That's really high on my on my opinions, because generally, if you guys see my, you know, reviews, I generally don't give stuff any higher than 6 out of 10. So the fact that I'm giving this an 8 out of 10 means that I really, really love it. So, uh, oh yeah, that's another thing. Uh, this is not rechargeable, by the way, guys. Um, the Ultra Sabers come with cords that are rechargeable. Uh, these take uh, three AAA batteries, so you're going to need those. I forgot to mention that, but yeah, um, that's my video. In the comment section, let me know who in Star Wars has your favorite lightsaber. Um, like I said, mine is Count Dooku, um, but let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.